playing. These are a series of short videos that we're going to use to test our mental scaffolding. So this is something I talk quite a lot about. The idea that inside your head, no matter what you're playing, you've just got something that's ticking along, keeping you in pulse, that you can snap all of your other rhythms to. And if you've got a strong mental scaffolding, it means that you can play all sorts of different rhythms without worrying or panicking, because you always know where your beat is. So, a few exercises to test that. Every time you say a number, it's only ever going to be one, two, three, or four, and that's going to be on the beat, or in line with the click. Sometimes we'll be saying, and, that's what goes in between the beats. So that will never be lining up with a click, but it's dissecting exactly in half. I think bisecting means to cut directly in half. So it'll be bisecting that beat. Before you get to playing, you need to be able to say it. And this is how I approach all of my music, whether it's a cheeky cajon solo, or some kind of Stravinsky timpani part. I need to be able to hear it in my head before I get it to my hands. Making sure we've got really strong internal rhythm is going to translate right out brilliantly. So the exercises are going to start simple, but we'll keep on adding new elements until they're quite complicated and tricky. But don't worry, not yet. I'm going to say a rhythm once, we'll say it together, and then we're going to play it. So whatever instrument you play, we're going to start off on our legs, with our hands. It means it's super versatile, you can do it wherever you are, there's always time for a little bit more metronome practice. Obviously, I'm giving you some examples of ones that you can do, but take this concept and do it and make up your own ones. So the idea is to try and make your words really percussive and make sure they're bang in time. That's the aim anyway. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Perfect. That's the way it's going to work. Let's carry on now. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three. And four. One and two, three and four. One and two, three and four. One, two and three and four. And one, two and three and four. One, two and three and four. And one and and three, four. One, and two. One, and, and, and four. One, and, and, and four. One, and, and, and four. And, 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 and. Wicked stuff. Now let's try a couple of two bar phrases. So even though we are essentially doing eight beats, we're only ever going to be counting up to four. So we're going to have two lots of four. Now we're starting to test the memory skills as well. One, two, three, four, and one, two, and three, and four. One, two, three, four, and one, two, and three, and four. One, two, three, four, and one, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. And, 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 and. One, two, three, four. And, 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 and. Good one. One, two, and, and four, and, and two, and three, four. One, two, and, and four, and, and two. One, two, and, and four, and, and two, and three, four. Brilliant stuff. That was our first go at saying it and playing it. At first it might seem a bit unnatural to remember if it's an and or if it's supposed to be a number, but by doing these exercises you'll make sure you're always counting up to four, and as soon as you get to four it becomes natural to go back down to one. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you found it useful. 
Thanks. Ready, here we go, sing and play. Bye.